Are you tired of living in a cluttered, expensive, and oversized home? Do you want to simplify your life and just save money in the process? Then downsizing might be the perfect solution for you. Funny story, I remember when I first started downsizing, I came across a box of old tapes and DVDs that I hadn't actually watched or listened to in decades. I had a moment of nostalgia and I almost kept them until my son graciously reminded me that I could just stream music on my phone and watch movies on iTunes and Netflix. So goodbye DVDs, hello modern technology. Hi, and welcome to the Operative Group channel. Today, we're talking about down, downsizing, the process of moving from a larger home to a smaller one. Now, I know what you might be thinking, why on earth would anyone want to do that? There's actually a lot of great reasons to downsize. Case in point, I am actually going through this process myself. For one, it can help you save money. If you're living in a larger home that's more expensive to maintain, downsizing to a smaller space can significantly reduce your expenses. You have lower utility bills, property taxes, possibly even a lower mortgage or rent payment. Downsizing can also simplify your life. When you have less space, you're forced to declutter and get rid of those things you don't really need. This can be liberating and make your home feel much more organized and peaceful to live in. But how do you go about doing that downsizing process? How do you go about it? It can seem like a daunting task, especially if you lived in your current home for a very long time and have accumulated a lot of stuff like myself. So first, start by decluttering your home. This might involve going room by room, get ridding, get, getting rid of items that you no longer use or you don't need. You can sell them, donate them, or just throw them away as you see fit. This can also be helpful uh, to create a storage plan, a master storage plan for those special items that you just want to keep, but you don't have room in your new home. For me, I've downsized from a, about an 1800 square foot house down to about an 800 square foot unit. So there's a lot of stuff to factor in. Next, it's time to start looking at a uh, smaller living space. This can be where a real estate agent can really come in handy. A real estate agent can help you find a home that meets your needs, budget, and can also handle the negotiation and, and all the paperwork process involved with selling a property and moving into a different one. If you're not sure how to find a reputable, reputable real estate agent, here's a couple quick tips. First, ask for recommendations from friends and family members who have recently bought or sold a home. Two, super important, check online Google reviews and ratings of local real estate agents. Three, Look for agents who are affiliated with a reputable real estate company. Four, schedule consultations with multiple agents and ask questions about their experience, credentials, and process. Also ask if they have been through the downsizing process themselves and have they helped other families downsize. Look, downsizing can be a huge change, but it can also bring a lot of benefits. If you're ready to simplify your life and save money, this is definitely something worth considering in your life. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or experiences to share about downsizing, please leave a comment below.